Now then, YouTube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome back to some more Ars Magica. We're on part 9? 10? One of the two? I'm not quite sure what part we're on, <laughs> which is always a good sign. Right, um, yes, guys, 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 guys. Okay, I've gone ahead into the configs here and just unlocked everything from the Arcane Compendium. I want to see everything because I want to know what there is to build. Um, so I've gone ahead and done that. I think I've got enough of a grasp of the basis, uh, of the basicness around Ars Magica now, so I've gone ahead and unlocked absolutely everything and found out we've got Battle Mage armor, we've got all sorts of stuff here, Earth armor, Fire Antenna, whatever the hell that is, but I did manage to find Magic Broom, and also actually, no, I'll tell a lie, I went onto, uh, onto Skype, I went into the Thormlight group that I'm uh, involved with, and uh, it was JD from over there, and he says to me, Oh yeah, I said, does anybody know that of, of anything that there is uh, that I can, you know, pick up loose blocks, uh, loose items with and put in a chest? And he's like, yes, yeah, a magic broom will do that. And I says, I haven't got that in my book. So that's when I went and unlocked everything in my book. So I've managed to find this uh, a magic broom now and, uh, and that managed just to do the job. As you can see, you have taken the magical properties of arcane ash and combined them with a broom. Why? You're not entirely sure. What you do know is that it gives you a broom. Uh, that what you do know is that this broom loves to keep the area clean, picking up any loose items near it and putting them in the assigned chest. To place the broom once you craft it, right click on any uh, block with an inventory uh, with the broom equipped. It won't work otherwise. Currently the broom will grab all loose items that will be configurable at a later time, which is fantastic. And I've also got six eggs. Whee! How ledge is that? How ledge is that? It's very nearly time for those uh, for those chickens and cows to move home. But first I want to make sure that the area is done. So, Arcane Ash with a hay bale there. And hay bales, guys, uh, hay bales are just... If it stops auto-sorting the damn thing... I just crafted as follows with nine wheat. It's really, really easy to make. See, the whole thing actually, this magic broom, powerful as it might be, is uh, is actually not that hard to make. So let's just take our torches off for the moment. It's uh, very nearly going to be night time, I believe. Yeah, might have to sleep first if we can, if it will allow us to do so. Yes, it will. Good stuff. And uh, the uh, the chickens and cows are going to find their new homes very, very shortly. I don't want the seeds in my inventory, otherwise they'll all be gathering around the gate. So, let's pop out here. And let's get into here. I'm going to put the chest down here, right next to it. And I'm also going to put the magic broom, voila, right there. Oh, look at this thing. Now then, you alright there? Broomy? You alright there, broomy? Right, let's go ahead and make these sigils now. These sigils are what's going to help automate the whole process. So why don't we get on with that? Okay. I've got the sigil of butchery. I made that in the last episode. Sigil of what's its? No, that, I said it again. Look, sigil of what's its? What's its falling down from the sky? Progeny, which is going to require two white runes. Not a not an issue. Got plenty of bone meal. There we are, two runes. Got plenty of bones as well for when I do run out of white, uh, bone meal. That's not a problem. Uh, we need this life essence though. And as you can see, I can't find out how to craft it. That's because I'm going to need to use the first thing that I'm, uh, the thing I'm going to need to use. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, where is my, where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. Essences. There it is. Right. Air Essence. Um, it was Air Essence, wasn't it? Let me just have a look. Progeny. Life Essence. What am I on about? Okay. So it's not that one. Life Essence. I need... Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to need another two eggs. I'm going to need some golden apples as well. I don't think I've got any apples. Oh, man. I've got one. I've got one apple. I'm going to have to go out and cut down some, uh, some oak trees and see what I can get. Uh, but I believe a golden apple... Is crafted oops, with golden nuggets? No, it's actual gold ingots around there. Wow, that is quite expensive. Um, we might need to put some gold ingots, uh, gold ore through the ringer. Put that there. So there's one golden apple. I need two more eggs, which is unfortunate. Especially when every time I come out here, I think the eggs actually fly into the cactus, so I never can manage to collect any. Um... 
I'm going to need to go and get some oak trees as well and try and find some uh, another apple off an oak tree. So why don't I go ahead and get another apple from somewhere if I can. Oh, well, there you go. There's another egg. I heard the uh, familiar pop there. And, uh, well, these are all spruce trees, you see. I don't want to get caught up in spruce. There is a ton of, uh, of stuff over here. So why don't I go ahead. Here we are, look. Loads of them. Loads of them. Can I get an apple? If you won't mind. And we have gone up another level, which means we've gained another blue point. Now, this is going to take a while, guys, to try and find an apple, so I'm not going to bore you guys with it. Um, but why don't I go ahead and uh, skip forward to when I've actually found one. Well, I finally managed to found, find the apple. Now, it must have disguised itself as a sapling when it fell off the tree, because I can never remember finding that apple. I just looked in my inventory, and then there, were, there it was. Um, I've also got eight eggs. I came back, and one of these little buggers had laid me an egg, so that's fantastic. We've got everything we need now uh, going forwards for what we need. I need life essence though, so in order to do, well, I'm going to need more golden apples. Let me put f four golden uh, gold ores through the ringer. And as you can see, I've been using my diggage spell to try and get rid of some trees. Oh man, I really need to sort my inventory out. There we go. Yeah, I really need to sort that inventory out. Okay, so I'm going to want to use some of uh, this essence. Where's my uh, little thing? It's got 100% in there, so there's absolutely no problems there at all. Uh, gold, if you wouldn't mind, doing your business. FPS is okay. It must just be whilst it's trying to, you know, get more out of it. So, oh my god. Oh my goodness. It must be when it's, uh, you know, got nothing in there and it's constantly looking for the power from here and there. So, it I think that's when the FPS issue starts kicking in. At the moment, though, we're looking good. That sounds good anyway to me. Some more Vintium dust and some gold ingots, which is just about to finish. Ta-da! There we go. And I can't pick up the Vintium dust. It's, it'll have to stay in there. Um... Okay, I need another golden apple. I can't do anything at the moment without another golden apple anyway. So let me go back inside and craft another golden apple up. I'm sure there used to be uh, nuggets, but maybe it's changed to since. It's been a long time since I made a golden apple. Okay, um, what was I looking for? Life essence. It's not going to tell me in there what it is. Two golden apples, two eggs, and an arcane ash. Well, luckily for me, I just so happen to have an arcane ash spare in my inventory. Which is also fantastic. So let's go over to this machine over here. And I believe it's t only 10% full. But I think that is enough to be able to craft what I need to craft. Egg, egg, arcane ash. And uh, look at this. It's starting to spin, guys. It's starting to spin. And it's using quite a lot of power. So I hope this is going to have time to finish. Doing its business. Or at least I hope it is. Please, 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 please. It's strange, you know. I would have expected because of the uh because of the coming from that, the uh the, the kale factor and the other machine that I had in there, I would have expected this to have some sort of you know, animation about it, but it is literally just a block at the moment. It's got deep purple ring there. I wonder if that's because I've not got enough power. No, it's it's going alright, it's going a good. And there we are, life essence, fantastic. We've created our first ever essence, guys, using the uh, essence refiner, which is fantastic. You can get it from drops, I believe, from like mobs and, uh, you know, the life mob or something like that. So, okay, let's go ahead and look at exactly what we need to do now for the other sigil. Where's it gone? Sigil. Sigil of progeny. So, we've got everything we need to be able to craft that. Sigil of Progeny. There we are. Fantastic. We've got both of them now. Both of them are in here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put them in just yet. It's actually getting night time, so I might as well sleep first. I'm not going to put them both in straight away. What I am going to do is move my animals in there so it can detect the fact that there is two of each animal in there, at least. I'm going to start with the cows. The hardest ones of them all to bloody move around. Because they're a pain. Come on. And you, other cow. 
How now? Okay, yeah, mum. I know you want this succulent, juicy, well, not juicy wheat, but you know you want this wheat, don't you? You know you is wanting this wheat. You know you is wanting this wheat. So follow me. You stick your nose up at my wheat. You can't be stuck on that, surely. Oh, apparently you was. Okay. Well, you're going to be even worse trying to get in here, aren't you? So, cows, meet magic broom. Magic broom, meet cows. Oh, for God's sake, what are you doing? Look, there's wheat here. Nice, juicy. Don't you do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You suicidal cow. And I mean that in the in the best respects, of course. That's it, straight in. Oh, God. You're both so thick, you know this, right? There you are. Come on, then. Come in, 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 come in. Now, this is going to be difficult, this. Because I've got to try and keep them in there whilst I mess around with my uh, with my bacocks. So, bacocks, come on. You as well. Right, you're not interested. I don't care anymore. Bacocks. Look at them all, very nicely, all filed in. So we've got two of each animal in here now, which is brilliant. Uh, let me just move you out of the way, please, if you don't mind. I need my sigils. Oh, and there goes another egg. Thank you very much. Well, oh, there's the broom trying to clean up after me. Well, unfortunately, there's nothing to clean up at the minute. So, okay. The, oh, God, I've got another one. Bloody hell. You, you, all the times, all that time, right, where you guys weren't bloody popping out eggs, and now you're just doing it for fun. Right, the first thing I want to do then is a sigil of uh, progeny to uh, to go ahead and let these guys breed and so on and so forth. And of course, put the other one in there as well, which will kill any more item, uh, any more ones that's only only one more of. So let me turn magnet mode off for the moment and watch Magic Broom do its stuff. As one of these chickens will get killed, there we are. It's sweeping up the items for me. Can it not see that? Broom. Broom, look. There's, there's, there's an item there. Plus there was a feather and you haven't put it in your chest. Ah, okay. It was just trying to find it. Kill one. Right, that looked like it sounded like it. Oh. Broom, where's my shit? I'm telling you something, mate, matey. You better bloody, you better do it. I will be less than impressed if you don't. I haven't got it on me, have I? No, I definitely haven't got it on me. Come on, broom. Oh, did a little bit of sweep in there. Come on, broom. Look, it's right there. It's behind you. Way eventually. God's sake. Right. Chicken, you're dead. I'm sorry, but it's just the way of it. The reason why I stand back to do the fences is because when you actually just do right-click a fence, it will just, your hand just like spazzes out and goes mental. Good stuff. And one more. Whoops. Just do apologise. I will fill that back in. Let me put magnet mode back on now. Right. Good, good, good. And look at this, guys. It also drops experience. So I'm wondering if there's some way of collecting that experience with Ars Magica as well. I'm going to have to have a look into that. But first, though, look, you see it. It spazzes your right arm around. Let's clean up my mess. We've made a little farm for ourselves. I've got no more room left. I've got an axe, I do. Good, good. Let's go and grab all this fence back up. And then uh, figure out what we're going to be doing next. Because we're getting... Uh, I believe that we're getting you know, pretty far into this. And I like it. I like it a lot. It's good. It's good. So let's have a look. We've got uh, one point to be able to use. I can do lightning damage if I so wish. I don't so wish at the moment. Um... Now, fire damage, ignition. I need green for this, and I don't know how to get this sort of, sort of stuff. Slow fall, leap is not learnt yet. We need red, green, and green for this one. 
Utilities, a target non-solid blocks. Wizards Autumn, got no idea what that is. I've got Light there as well. Color, which is not learned. Mana Regen. Affinity Gains Boost, which isn't learned. Now, Affinity, look at that. I'm getting a good affinity with uh, with, with Earth there, so I've got to watch what I'm doing. Um, other than that, guys, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next on there, so I'm going to leave that for a moment. I'm going to leave that for a moment. And let's have a quick gander through our book. What is this fire antenna? The fire antenna, when worn, grant full immunity to fire and lava. Really? Well, how do you craft it then? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Winter's Grasp must be the other other side of it. Look, uh, taken from the Guardian of Winter. Oh, okay. These are the bosses, and there is uh, bosses guard uh, bosses guys. Guardians, air guardian, uh, and oh my goodness gracious me, he looks nasty. He looks well nasty. Recommended level forty five. Jesus. That's quite a big level, that. Air Guardian, recommended level 35. Winter Guardian, Jesus. The size of this thing. Recommended level 10. Okay. <laughs> the Guardian of the Water is a unique being. It is always in the state, a state of fluidity, making it able to shrug off attacks occasionally. It is a trickster as well, flowing into copies of itself and attacking from, uh, from ambush if one is fooled by the decoy. Oh dear. The Water Guardian can be summoned by creating a redstone inlay circle in any biome that is predominantly water. Then, while raining, throw a boat uh, throw a boat and a bucket of water into the circle as homage to the many ships lost at sea. And then they... Oh, this sounds interesting, guys. I won't mind getting into uh, something like that. Recommended level 60. Oh my god, that looks... I'll tell you something. Whoever's done textures for these are just amazing. Nature Guardian, Fire Guardian. <whistles> Recommended level 90. Jesus. Is that like the most powerful one? 25. Oops, I've just done that one. 45 and of course, 35 again. So it looks like the Fire one is the most, uh, is the worst one to come across. My goodness gracious me. Right, what kind, what other blocks have we got in here that I haven't seen yet? Well, the Keystone Receptacle, of course, that is used in the, in the, bits and bobs for teleportation and stuff, but I don't really need to teleport anywhere. I've got no need to teleport anywhere at the moment. Um, other than that, we've got the Everstone. What is the Everstone? What does this do? Everstone is a magically infused block that can mimic other blocks, much like the Illusion blocks can. However, when broken, Everstone will not drop, but rather become in incorpor incorpor incorporeal for a brief time. After that, it will re-solidify to its uh, return to its original state. While it's solidifying, Everstone can be passed through as if it's not there. To make it, to make it mimic a block, simply right-click the Everstone with the desired block in hand. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Crystal wrench it up. Illusion blocks, inlays. Remember, guys, inlays are runes that are used for decoration and for summoning bosses. Uh, when placed in the right pattern, see structures. There are a few different types of inlay. We've got the redstone inlay, which is, ah, now I know how to craft it. That's fantastic. Okay, so some of that stuff can be used in, in conjunction with the uh, sigils as well, which is great stuff. Um, a null magic rune. The hell? Fair enough. Um, particle emitter. I won't mind making one of them at some stage. Slip st uh, slipstream generator. You have managed to create a device that can project a cushion of air around you to make you float upwards or gently lower yourself towards the ground. Oh, okay, so it's like a little uh, it's like a little elevator. Sneak to remain stationary. Okay. Anything else? Nope. What about items? Uh, the, this battle mage armor I've got to have a look into. A circlet. Right, I need obsidian. I need uh, some obsidian. I need essence, gold inlay as well. Oh my goodness gracious me. Battle armor. Battle mage armor. Earth essence runes. More obsidian as well. It looks like that might be the as magical equivalent of diamond armor, I think. Uh, we've done that. We've done that. Nature's scythe. What is this? I have defeated your master. Oh, mind you, I'd need to beat the Nature Guardian for that, I would think. 
Okay, uh, you know what I am going to do now, guys? I'm going to I'm going to wander around, see what I can uh, figure out, see what I want to do next, because um, there's plenty of stuff to be getting on with, plenty of stuff to be getting on with. So, okay, guys, I will see you shortly. Okay, guys, I am back. It's another day, a new day has dawned for me, personally. So, let's have a look at this, guys, because some people were saying in comments uh, that, that, that the book... This Arcane Companion isn't up to date with, with uh, what it actually says, or with what it actually means. So guys, what I'm going to do is, um, apparently, the mana battery can store the type of energy uh, being used. So, I think I'm going to put a mana battery my, right here. I wonder if those little particle effects that are going up there, you know, show the fact that it is actually... Uh, connected to that. So let me go ahead and get my crystal wrench here so that I can go and whack that. Thank you. And whack you. And then from you to this. Is this going to work? I can see it going into there, but it's not going into here. Oops. There's no charge in there at all. That's got 4,000 in there already. Ah, uh, you know why? Because I haven't got a lever by it. It needs a lever to function properly. Or at least that's what it's meant to do. Come on. Man, there's nothing in there, so it's just waiting for something to get dragged along, maybe, from here. So when there's a, a ball of light that comes out of there, we'll soon find out anyway. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Is it going to go in there and back out of there? No, it's not. It's just going to get eaten by that thing. Hmm. This is going to be uh, slightly frustrating. I can see. Is that... Oh, I really don't know, guys. <laughs> I really don't know. You need to then go into there. And then you... I don't know if I'm even doing it right, man. I don't know. This whole system here with, with the crystal wrench and, you know, having to... Ooh. No, it's actually going straight up over there. The whole thing with the crystal wrench and linking these things together, I mean, it's fair enough, but it just doesn't... It, it could be so much easier. I mean, yeah, I, I totally agree, but, you know, you, you could do this, right? And then that little light shows that you're, you're messing around with that. And then it used to be that you click this, and then the light would disappear, and go, you know, and then it would be linked to this, and then you would click it again, and then this light would appear again. But it seems to have changed it for some reason, or, or what, but I don't know. I would hope that that kind of balance that we've got going on there would go towards this now, rather than this. But, who knows? Who knows, guys? We're going to have to sort that out uh, in between uh, episodes, I believe, because I think that we're getting on... Oh, no, it's still going over there, look. Still going over there. Why are you being dodgy about it? Hey? Why are you being dodgy about it? I love these textures, man. I love these textures. Anyways, guys, I will see you for the next episode. And uh, until then, I've been the tough man as always. Stay safe.